Good morning, Magic. I'm Gavin Verhey from Wizards of the Coast, and welcome to day two of Time Spiral Remastered Previews. It's blue day today, so let's cover some awesome blue preview cards. Here we go. One of the things we tried to do with Time Spiral Remastered is make sure that a lot of the iconic cards and themes were represented in the set, so that when you're drafting, it does feel a lot like the original draft experience. And when I think of blue in Time Spiral, there is one card I think of above all else, and it's this illusion, Errant Ephemeron. Errant Ephemeron at Common is a foundational part of the Time Spiral limited format. Suspending this on turn two, and then four turns later having a 4-4 flyer attacking in the air is huge. It's not just incredibly powerful, but is really important to letting blue decks flip the script and move from being controlling to being aggressive and closing out the game. If you're blue, you should almost always take this card while drafting. And pick one, pack one, it's a regular first pick choice. On an entirely different topic, some of you might be wondering, what's an Ephemeron? Well, Ephemeron was a 4-4 flyer from Exodus, so this is a little riff on that card. Now, as I mentioned before, Suspend can be pretty key to a lot of blue draft decks in Time Spiral Remastered, and you can't always just get as many Aaron Ephemerons as you want. So another card to keep an eye out for is Veiled Oddity. This also suspends for two and comes down four turns later, and also does a great job of flipping the script and letting you become the aggressor, making all of your creatures unblockable for one turn. This card is definitely a, well, oddity, because it's actually one of the only cards in all of Time Spiral where I don't know if it's a reference to a previous magic card. Do you know what it is? If so, let me know in the comments down below. Now, if you do have a lot of suspend stuff going on in your draft deck, that makes this next card all the more valuable, and that's Timebender. This card does a ton. First of all, yes, you can remove time counters from your own suspended cards, which does allow for the wild curve of turn two suspend Aaron Ephemeron, turn three morph a Timebender, and turn four unmorph Timebender, remove two counters from Ephemeron, and attack for four in the air. That's pretty good but it can also mess with your opponent's suspend cards. You can either make them take longer, which is the more typical play, or in some cases, even speed them up. For example, if they have a removal spell on suspend, you wanna go off a little bit early. Another thing it can do though, is mess with vanishing. Vanishing is a keyword that returns in this set and time counters are what that uses. So you can make your opponent's card fade away a little early or keep yours around for an extra amount of time. And then to top it all off, it's a morph. So it can bluff your opponents with all the various morphs going on in the set. This little innocuous 1-1 creature does a great job of showing just how complex and intricate Time Spiral Block can be. There are so many decisions to be made with this one card, and well, think it through and choose wisely. Now when I think of Blue Suspend for Limited, I always think of Errant Ephemeron. But when I think of Blue Suspend for Constructed, there is another extremely iconic card from Time Spiral that comes to mind and it's back here in Time Spiral Remastered. And that is Ancestral Vision. This card is a reference to Ancestral Recall, and its pedigree is quite impressive, showing up in Competitive Constructed almost immediately. With Block Constructed, Standard, Extended, it was banned in Modern for a while, and now it shows up in Modern, and eventually it even showed up in Legacy. Turns out, Cascade with this is pretty good. Ancestral Vision is part of a six card cycle of cards which are versions of previous incredibly powerful spells, but you had to suspend them, you couldn't just cast them. And basically all of these have shown up in tournament play at one point or another. There's Restore Balance, a riff on balance, Ancestral Vision, a riff on Ancestral Recall, Living End, a riff on Living Death, Wheel of Fate, a riff on Wheel of Fortune, Hypergenesis, a riff on Eureka, and Lotus Bloom, a riff of course on Black Lotus. Now these cards, mostly because of Suspend, were quite wordy and they didn't have room for the cool flavor text that they could have had referencing these old previous cards. But when I was digging around in the original Time Spiral file, I did find a piece of flavor text that was slated for Ancestral Vision before it was cut for space reasons. And it was so cool, I thought I'd share it with you for the first time anywhere today. Let's take a look. It read, A haze clouded Maragor's eyes. When he looked again, it seemed an age had passed. The pyramids had fallen to ruin, but their secret was still fresh. In his heart. The fun, flavorful implication here is that one of the people from Ancestral Recall was teleported ahead through a time rift to Ancestral Vision, and that's pretty cool. And while I was around in there digging, I actually found that one other card in the cycle had flavor text slated for it too, Wheel of Fate. It reads, Empires rise and fall, ages pass of ice and fire, 
Darkness crawls and tempests split the skies. And still, the wheel spins. Whew, I get chills just reading that. And of course, it's also a reference to mini magic sets on Dominaria. You've got Fallen Empires, Ice Age, The Dark, and Tempest all referenced right there. Now, all of that brings me to my bonus sheet card for today. And this blue card is one of my favorite counter spells in Magic's history. I played it in Standard, I played it in Extended, I played it in Modern, I play it in Cube whenever I can draft it. And in this format in particular, it is recontextualized because it is particularly brutal against suspend cards. Any guesses? Well, the card is Remand. Remand is almost always a brutal tempo play, and it should usually make your main deck. And I really can't stress enough just how strong this is in a format with suspend. First of all, you can see their spell coming a mile away, so you know when to leave remand mana up for it. And then once you remand it back to their hand, do they suspend it again? Do they tap a bunch of mana and inefficiently cast it? It's so good for you. But it's not just suspend that it recontextualizes with either. You can also remand your own spells. And this is particularly huge once you start seeing these storm spells in Time Spiral Remastered. Casting a storm spell and then returning the original back to your hand to storm again is really, really nice. That wraps up day two of Time Spiral Remastered previews here on Good Morning Magic. I'll be back on Monday with black cards, so you won't want to miss those for all kinds of black goodies. We're taking a break over the weekend, but if you're looking for something to watch, I might recommend League Weekend, full of your favorite MPL and Rivals League members playing cool decks for top prizes. You won't want to miss it. But in the meantime, I will talk with you again on Monday. And until then, may you unsuspend your cards exactly when you need to. You got this. Kithkin, aren't those from Lorwyn? Well, not quite originally. The first Kithkin showed up in Legends, Amru Kithkin. And this was a reference both back to that card, Amru Kithkin, but also it seeded Kithkin in Standard, so when the next block would come out, Lorwyn, there were already some Kithkin running around. Now, searching your library for creatures and putting it into play on a repeatable creature activation can be very 